clean the glitches out of the internet tubes, and now we're back in business. They just lose one star. Richard saying, hey, better late than never. They can lose everything. So you don't say. And we had a very rare trivia free night, but the greatest test of mind and memory that fits in your phone doesn't stay down, and here we are. And the best way we can think to make it up to all of you is to roll over last night's prize money into tonight's prize pot. So whoever among you can solve all 12 diabolical dumbfounders that we're about to fling at you, you're sharing in $10,000. And that's enough to make you hollow. Hello! Mm, will you be celebrating double or deteriorating to rubble? And since you're here, we want to tell you about a great charity, bringing the healing and the hope where it is so badly needed. Tonight, it's truth, racial healing, and transformation. Oh, yeah. Created by the Community Foundation of Greater Flint, TRHT addresses the historic and contemporary effects of racism and works to bring about change to create a just and equitable society where all can thrive. They seek to unearth and jettison the deeply held, often unconscious beliefs created by racism through actions like narrative change, racial healing, and relationship building. HQ is thrilled by that. So we're saying thanks with a $5,000 donation to Truth, Racial Healing, and Transformation. Here's their Vice President, Karima, to tell you a little more. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for your support and supporting our Truth, Racial Healing, and Transformation Fund. When it comes to racial healing, we need that everywhere, especially in my hometown of Flint, Michigan. We're funding programs that get at the heart of racial healing, love. We fund Racial Healing Circle, where people tell their own stories, Having authentic conversations is the start of loving friend. Rima Org for Community Foundation of Greater Flint. Hit them up. Question one is coming right up, but first, we got something exciting on the horizon. July 23rd, less than two weeks away. We have a very special show benefiting Oxfam, hosted by someone you haven't seen in a while, the one and only Miss Sharon Carpenter. Yeah, and if that's not exciting enough, Sharon needs a co-host, and you have a chance at snagging the job and virtually co-host it with Sharon from your home. Head to propeller.la slash HQ Trivia for full details. Hope to see you soon. Yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. Just before we start, happy birthday to Kate in Southampton, New York. Okay? Woo! Now, are you all ready for a trivia quiz? The questions are loaded. The tension is building. The world is waiting to see what the topics will be. All will be revealed in seconds. Keep your eyes on the prize. Question one. What image is in the upper left corner of most Macintosh computer desktops? An apple, a left snowshoe, or Simon Cowell? Apple. That was the hint. My thing didn't pop up. Answer yeah. All right, funny story about this. I'm going to read it again. Here we go. <laughs> what image is in the upper left corner of most Macintosh computer desktops? There we go. An apple, a left snowshoe, or Simon Cowell? And then I'll tell you a funny story about this. Okay, here's the funny story. Macintosh apples are completely round. They don't have the, the shoulders that you see in the Apple computer logo, which is more of a golden, delicious shape. And if you look in the top right over here, you see the lovely HQ logo. Yeah, I love it. Hey, hey, little baby. Okay, 71,195 got it right, and Apple was the answer I was looking for. Wonderful! Here we go, Q2. Ready for this? Who jumped over the moon in the rhyme, hey diddle diddle, cat, cow, or dog? It's a little crazy that any animal would jump over the moon, but dinnerware was also running off together in this little poem. And while the cat rocked out and a dog laughed, it was the cow who leaped to the stars. 67,974, got it right. Cow, hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. Yeah. 
<laughs> Here we go. Question number three. Which of these foods would a vegan not eat? Tempeh, quinoa, or gelato? If you're a vegan and you get this one wrong, you've been messing up. All right. That's some good eating, okay? You could have a really healthy dinner and then ruin it with that yummy, dairy-rich gelato. 57,509, got it right. You know it would be dope? Like some coconut milk gelato. Is anybody doing that? Maybe we should. HQ gelato. Is HQ lato. Yeah. Coming to a it's Sam's so Club good. near you. Question number four. Knocking on your door. I've been over here trying Where did the prehistoric beasts called trilobites live? Grasslands, jungle, or ocean? What's it going to be? These guys were so plentiful in their heyday that even though they lived hundreds of millions of years ago, their fossils are dirt cheap on eBay. And that fossil will also be a record of where, at least, you know, used to be a seabed. Ocean! I think we got a picture. Can we, can we see it? Oh, get the raid! Spray it! Oh, I've never been so happy something was extinct before in my life. Sorry about that, everybody. Creepy crawlies. Question number five. All the way live. Here we go. A hospital throw is a move in which game? Gin rummy, ultimate frisbee, or golf? Hospital throw. One second, one thing. All right, you can only throw in one of these games, people. And while you can theoretically throw clubs or some cards, Frisbee is the sport that requires you to actually throw stuff around. Ultimate Frisbee with the hospital throw. Yeah. 48,193 in the place to be at Q5. Question number six goes a little something like this. Here we go. Justin Bieber's father-in-law appeared in which movie? Breakfast Club, American Beauty, or The Usual Suspects? Question number six about the Biebs. And his in-laws. All right, for a couple years now, Justin's been hitched to Haley Baldwin of the Baldwin acting family. And her dad, Stephen Baldwin, known for his solid performance in Usual Suspects. <laughs> the Usual Suspects is the answer I was looking for. 28,123 in the place to be. Y'all did that. All right, now. You came to play. I came to pay. All right? And we got $10,000 on the line tonight, so that's pretty exciting. Woo! Jackpot! 10K! Yeah! Question number siete. That's seven. Here we go. Baba O'Reilly is the theme song to which CSI series? CSI Miami, CSI NY, or CSI Cyber? What's it gonna be? Out here in the field, I fight for my meals. Yeah, I think we got a the actual one. <laughs> I think I got it wrong. Woo! Oh, it's starting now. CSI NY is the answer. White one for next week. Yeah. Uh, Sharp's top. Sharp's uh huh. Top. It's not called Teenage Wasteland. Woo! It's Baba. Fifteen thousand one hundred ninety-seven. So got it right. How did you fix it? Let's go. Question number eight. Okay, Hope you're feeling great. This, Woo! This, the white one's not working. The striped one is. What's up, Nate? How you doing, dog? It's been raining like yes. crazy here in New York City. But Question the, number eight. Here we go. Is not working. The name of what nation's capital is also a variety of grape? Algeria, Belize, or Oman? Uh, One of these nation's capitals is also a variety of grape. I think the white grape. might just be damaged. Algerian wine has a long history and a good reputation, but there's no Algiers grape or even... Uh, Belmapan. Yeah. Altogether. What you want is the thing they make muscatel out of. That's the musket grapes, like the capital of Oman. It is. We got it wrong. We're out. Oh, 15,577. Got it right. My hands are feeling a little dirty. Time to yes. clean them up. Here we go. One second. Do you have 81? I'm good. Woo! Santa break. Santa Tazza break. Sign up, ties, and break in the thumb. Sign up, ties, and break. 
So clean! You got to stay clean, baby. Let me save some of those for later. Can you come try these on? Yeah. <laughs> I feel fresh. All right, question number nine. Here we go. Which Shakespeare play does not have a character named Demetrius? Titus Andronicus, Midsummer Night's Dream, or Julius Caesar? What's it gonna be? All right, if Spielberg can put guys named Brody in both Jaws and Raiders of the Lost Ark, Shakespeare can do this too. You can pick either the fickle lover in Midsummer Night or the ill-fated son of Tamora in Andronicus. But Julius was Demetrius Liss. 12,751. I love thee not, therefore pursue me not. What? That was midsummer. Yeah. <laughs> Question number 10, y'all. Oh, that's fitting, because this question's about a DJ. The DJ in the video for Blondie's Rapture was accomplished in what field? Dance, photography, or painting? If this right, it requires you to have a deep knowledge of Blondie's music videos. All right, it's been a long time since this 1981 video was the new hotness. But take a look at the DJ that Debbie stops and raps at. Here we go. Take a look at this. Yep, you know who that is. That's the late Jean Michel Basquiat, the innovative graffiti painting artist. Oh my gosh, that's a savage question. Savage question song. Sorry, you got it wrong. Oh, Reggie for the children, savage. <laughs> Reggie. That's a ready for the children's time question. <laughs> okay, dokie. Question number 11. All dogs go to heaven. Here we go. New Year's Eve tradition in Japan includes performances of whose work? Bach, Beethoven, or Mozart? Oh, that was a golden bunny. All right, you never know how Eastern culture will interpret and use Western art. Stores in China play a Kenny G song to tell everybody it's closing time. And for many Japanese, it's not the new year until you've heard Ode to Joy, a.k.a. Beethoven's Ninth. Yes, 5,648, feeling great at Q11. You made it to the final question of the game, baby. Question 12. What's that smell? Smells like money. All right, let's do it. Final round. Y'all ready for this? $10,000. All you got to do is get this one right. And you're sharing in the $10,000 prize pot. Here we go. Lucy Goosey. Question 12. Using standard abbreviations, one of the DNA base pairs spells out what? Verb, preposition, or U.S. state abbreviation? What's it going to be? Okay, the four nucleotide bases are abbreviated A, C, G, and T, right? But they don't get to pair off however they want. The G was made to join the C, leaving adenine and thymine to spell at. That's a preposition, y'all. We have 1,895 winners of HQ Trivia! Woo! Yes, let's go. Let's go. I do your dance. I do your dance. Now your chance. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, baby! Little savagery to send us home. Congratulations to 1,882 winners! We got Johnson, 54. Carrie Z. Mold, the Mighty Pigeon. <laughs> Neurosurgeon. Star Child. 9821. Armilo. Brad Glazer. Who made it do what it do?
Congrats going out to everybody, y'all. Y'all just did that. You're $5.32 richer. Hello! Not bad. Not bad. How was that for a trivia game, huh? It should have been pretty good because we do them every night, including tomorrow. So why don't you drop on by? It's always good to have you over. You feel me? Don't forget Sunday night's extra special game, The 100, where the questions will not stop until we have 100 or fewer winners. Whoever wins, wins big. Okay? All right. Yes. The 100. Michigan area, okay? There's more info at cfgf.org if you want to learn more or help out. Until I see you again, this is Matt Richard saying, don't let the losers and the haters hold you back. back. Hold, hold yourself, yourself back, back on your own terms. terms.